Yo, what's going on, 67 Letter Squad? How you guys doing? I'm back and doing some recording. Finally, I know it's been forever. I've been gone to Billicuddy. It's Chris. Oh, hi, Chris. Hi. I've been gone to McGillicuddy for a long time now. Actually, I understand. Would be rather useful. Uh, I was really sick November, December. Sorry. Oh, yeah, I don't know what that was about. I was really sick November, December. And uh, then I recorded a little bit early January, but then I went to Worlds, and I got COVID at Worlds, and I have a cough now. Minions have I didn't want to record too bad with a cough, like while the cough was that bad. So instead, what I did is I just streamed because... Uh, I don't know. I feel like people expect less of me than on my videos. So I'm back recording, gamers. We're back, and I am uh, a conquest player for sure. Now I enjoy conquest so much. I actually like really love it. Um, and I'm gonna play my favorite current solo laner because I am a solo laner in conquest. I mean. I play jungle as well, but I feel like just being uh, being a solo laner is very fun. You know what I mean? Oh, that did a lot more damage. Than I thought. I don't think you win this fight. I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter because neither of us win this fight technically. Oh, horrific! By the way, he bought horrific, a literal god tier item. Probably the best relic in the game. Uh, because when relics got changed, they added uh, what the low health, like the reducing health and shields that that other relic was. I forget what, what it was called. What was that other one called? Um, like weakened something. They added that to horrific. So now horrific is just straight up two relics at the same time. And it is straight up the best relic in the game. So I would recommend if you plan on ever buying a relic, think about horrific. It's a very, very good item. I'm probably going to go horrific second item. Um, I'm going to go phalanx and I will also be going berserker shield. So I'm playing this Vamana because like I said, I've, I've been playing Vamana a lot in solo lane and I think he's probably the most fun, fun solo laner there is right now. And I just wanted to, uh, Oh man. Oh, he's not up immune in that now, isn't he? I forgot about that. And I just wanted to see if he translated all to duel. So obviously my early game is gonna be pretty dog water, uh, because in duel there's no starter items. Obviously you would start with axe, so you get a lot more sustain and some decent damage as well out of it. Um And you don't really need to farm buffs solo. As, uh, as a solo laner, because normally your jungler drops your blue, or uh, buffs in Conquest actually have a lot less HP than they do in Duel, so that's something to also consider. But, if you can get past those couple things, then I feel like maybe Vermont is okay. I don't think he kills me here. I don't think he knows he doesn't kill me here. Alright. Nice. Alt down. Oh, he sees I have no mana. There's no way you want to stay, though, right? Maybe? Um... So I have my ult. Going for this red buff is quite stupid. Because his regen is kind of nuts. Alright. I think you get red buff. I think you get red buff. I'm just going to vibe. What is GD thing? My mana is pretty bad. 
honestly, I'll go, I'll go breastplate in duel. I don't build bre breastplate in conquest. I go, um, like just a bunch of HP because you always have a blue buff in conquest. I mean, I could also just always have a blue buff here. Let me think of it. I don't need to pick up red. I don't need red. So actually, maybe I just don't pick up red ever. Um, so I can guarantee to get this because he has no... So the way that the Mannequin Scepter works, by the way, is um, the last person standing in it gets the Scepter. And he has no displacement ability like I do. So I just, I knock him up, he gets knocked back. And uh, he gets displaced, I don't. And then I can just beat him up for a bit. I just get to beat him up for a little bit. He got the breastplate. He's obviously got some damage, and I don't have damage, but uh, I also think it doesn't really matter. I went from behind to ahead now, which is really good. And again, I don't have any damage items yet. This build relies completely on level 20, by the way. So again, I don't really know if it's a good conquest or if it's a good dual build, but it's I swear, if you do this build with, uh, with, what is it? Warrior's Axe in Conquest, you will literally slap everyone. There it's incredible. No Alright, then you go Hasten. You get two defensive items, and then you get Hasten. Uh, you want a lot of HP in the build normally because of the Axe of Animosity upgrade from the Warrior's Axe, but we don't have that in Duel, so I don't really care that much about the HP I'm building. Um, I always go Hastened and Kins as a damage items because who doesn't love damage? Um, I guess he could be doing Bull Demon, but it seems kind of useless for Tower. So I'm just going to bide here. It out. He ulted out. That's fine by me. Alt for alt. Um, there's no real point in staying here, so I'm just gonna back out and see if I can contest that red buff. Transcendence is not a very good item, I think, anymore, because it gives you base pen instead of percent pen. Hydra's is still a very good item. Hello? I think I'm just gonna fall through this bucket. Oh man. If I had hastened right now, he dies here. Sucks. That stun is so hard to do anything against. As a Vama Anna. But also, he did get poked out really heavy for the red buff. Which guarantees me his blue. And also my blue. And also this one. Nice. So he's poking me, but he's he really can't kill me. I still have ultimate too. And he does have horrific for my ult, but I don't really need So what horrific does is it lowers shield and healing. Um but I don't really think that matters too much. Oh he's gonna run up. Uh, if I can't kill, he's fast. He's a fast guy. Although maybe I can kill here. He's greedy. His horrific's down. My mannequin scepter actually almost killed me there. No one 
saves us but ourselves. Okay. Um, really not much I can do here. With their wave. <clears throat> All right. He's got stun up too. Nice. A little beta ruski. Make him think that he can all in me. And then all I do is I shell for the initial shield. And then I ult for that extra initial shield. And grab the little kill. A little, a little kill ski, dude. I right, know. Let's grab that. Let's go berserker shield also. Uh, I'll wait for the extra 50 gold. Why not? Second relic. Obviously going to be horrific. I bought the wrong item. I bought serrated instead of hastened. That's a really bad play. Because you need hastened, so I'm going to have to sell that. But, oh well, I guess. I guess it's not the worst play. Like, serrated still gives me a lot of damage. It definitely doesn't feel good, that's for sure. All right, his blue is up. He can have it. Fine. Nothing I can do about that. Let's just go punch the tower a bit. There's the horrific. Uh, the only way he saves his tower is by horrificing me there. Um, so it forces horrific out, and then with his no horrific, I can fight him very easily here with my own horrific. He doesn't have stun up either. And now I horrific. And that's powered down, and he's just going to surrender. Yeah, I mean, there's really nothing he can do there. GG Gamer. Really not much he can do there. Uh, unfortunately, the matchup is definitely in my favor. Because I'm Vamana. Oh, sorry about that. Hold on. Dude, my GoXLR has been actually annoying me. Whatever, I'll fix that after. Uh, thanks for watching the video. I appreciate it. If you did enjoy it, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, y'all, peace.